Before heading over to the NetPen project, we were pretty keen and excited, so we decided to head out, drop our lines. We were able to land one nice Chinook before we had to pull our lines and head over to the NetPen project. As we pulled up, they were just starting the process of transferring the smolts from the truck via a long tube into the open net pen. Glenn, can you give us a rundown of what you guys are doing here today? Well, we're transporting uh, roughly 240,000 fish going into a net pen here in Souk. These are from the Nitnat River Hatchery. And out of the whole program, it was about 500,000 this year and 100,000 were coated wire tagged. And basically, yeah, we're running 600 plus feet of hose down to the pen to get these guys down there. So it's a little bit of a teamwork effort. It's a process, them. yeah. It is, yeah. it is. Well, well sure. worth it. Well worth it in the end, yes. And how yep. long are they going to be in the pens for? They'll be in until the end of the month. So yep. basically 15 days, these guys. And uh, off they go and hope to see them back starting in three years. So this is really, you know, a, a huge uh, effort for conservation and for it is. the future of fishing. It is, it is for sure. And also for the whales too, that's a big part of it. Right. It's trying to help feed the southern resident orcas, so. Exactly, because we all know there's uh, been issues there with uh, predation of Predations. seals, et cetera, oh, and which and is the, uh, yes. affecting yep. orca population definitely. And Definitely. All this work that we're doing here, it's all done basically uh, by donation. We have a derby called the Juan de Fuca uh, Derby that is most of the, all the funds, all the net proceeds from the derby are going to this project. It costs roughly $30,000 just to tag 100,000 fish. Plus there's the food, plus the transportation, and uh, yeah, all all part and part. It's all good working relationship with everybody. Uh, you guys are doing a great job, fantastic. We just hope DFO down the road actually steps up and, and really sees what we're doing and, and looks at that and says, hey, you know, we really get, really need to get on board, on board with the whole program. So well, the key thing board. is, I mean, yeah. instead of waiting, is you guys taking the initiative to move forward with it. Exactly, right? exactly. Stop the studies. Let's just get the feed out there for the fish, right. for the for Before the whales. things are too late. Exactly, exactly, yeah. We're excited to be here today to be able to kind of witness it firsthand. I'm glad you guys are, yes, yeah, to get to see the, the whole process here for sure. A big focus of this project is to help feed the southern resident killer whales. There's a huge issue as far as the numbers of Chinook on the southern part of Vancouver Island. A lot of it's correlated to an overpopulation of seals which are targeting juvenile salmon and feeding on these juvenile salmon which you know don't allow these salmon to grow up and essentially come back and return to their natal rivers and spawn and create more salmon. So there's a shortage right now and these resident killer whales are suffering. So this is a huge step in the right direction to take initiative to try and help correct that problem. Glenn, thanks for allowing us to come down here and watch this. and. Oh. Get some education on the process. It's, yep. uh, it's a fantastic thing you guys are doing here. It is, it's, it's rewarding. You know, when you see it at the end of the day, and then, like I say, it, in uh, three years from now, when we start seeing the numbers build up in the system here. It'd be well worth it. Yeah, yeah.